Priorities for action are any actions that increase resilience in diversity of farming systems um, that allow farmers, households, community to not just cope with um, stress or shocks but to adapt actually to changing situations. Changing situations in the political field, in the economic field but also in the physical environment, climate change as for example one keyword. Um, and this increased resilience probably results in an in a, um, increased diversity of strategies of, of households. Um, and these strategies can be in the production field that farmers have more opportunities to produce, both for their own consumption but also for markets, commercial engagement. Um, but that also means that ha rural households are not seen as just farmers or livestock keepers or whatever, but that they, they are increasingly again seen as, as very diverse enterprises and, and, and units, both within the farming but also within the non-farming sector. Um, that temporal changes are allowed, that people sometimes are farmers, sometimes are not farmers. So this kind of real broad diversity of, of strategies of households and I think a lot more needs to be done to support this kind of diversity and not just to focus on productivity growth or on, on output growth in a specific crop or on a specific enterprise. And I think that's, that's something um, which then also needs to be linked into a broad rural development strategy, not just an agricultural policy or anything that focuses alone, alone food security, but move on to broader activities in the rural development field that can be investments in water, as very often, for example, um, food insecurities are triggered by water shortages. So to en enable and allow households to engage in different productive activities, they need to have access to all these kind of infrastructure, natural resources, and, and there I think a more broader um, focus needs to be again adopted where, where different activities are, are supported, different activities in the rural development field but also very strongly linked to natural resource management I think which has sort of fallen off a bit the agricultural food security agenda, increased investments in natural resource management, sustainable natural resource management whether that relates to water or to soils forestry, biodiversity, whatever, to bring the environment and the, the agriculture sector back together.